Hi. I was like, oh my god, I really missed the days before Corona 2000. 14, 15, 16, when everyone was coming to Korea doing their own day my life in Korea vlogs. I feel like you don't get that shit anymore. Man, unless it's just me. I don't, I don't really look up that kind of shit. Back when Joan was doing her 365 daily vlogging girl. I still don't understand to this day how, how the hell she managed to do all that. I really fucking hate my hair color right now. Because I had just brown hair for a, a while because I got my hair permed. At some point, I was watching Pony probably. And I was like, oh my god, I miss blonde hair. And also because I was like, oh, I feel like I can't wear very much like dynamic makeup in just brown hair. I feel like when my hair is lighter, I can go a little bit crazier in the makeup. Ironically, I didn't wear any more makeup than I did with brown hair. Completely regret it now. It's like this really ugly gray. Oh! <gasps> I was watching this one Korean beauty YouTuber and she, was, she mentioned like apparently since last year there's this like trendy word in Korea. I forgot what the word is. I'll put it right here. The whole concept is like trying to mimic the facial ratios of like a baby because apparently I want to do a warm look today. If you try to mimic a baby's facial proportions that will make you look younger and more youthful or whatever. So trying to make everything much more like into the center of the face. We're using this Vanilla Co. blush in Bioan Mellowness which is a really good color if you are mute I guess. It's not too too right you know the game i have this mac powder kiss shit that i got i think because of lisa and i was like oh if i get that i'll look like lisa still don't look like lisa but jesus christ i did not exfoliate my lips i'm such a dumb bitch and then for the main color i'm gonna use this one vintage taupe from roman this packaging is so fucking weird it's supposed to be like vintage or whatever so they try to make it like this fuzzy matte thing but it just looks like it looks like someone took spray adhesive or something sprayed it and dipped it in like dead skin or some shit Bottom Breeze and Soul Forest. I used this shit um, in that one video. It was like, oh, I suppose the models. Never used it after that. <sighs> Apparently Zico is the new model for Clio, which I thought was so random, but a lot of these beauty, these K-beauty brands will just get boy groups because first of all, boy groups are way more expensive to hire as like brand models. However, they're the ones with the fangirls that has, will spend money, so. <sighs> Also, apparently, according to that whole this thing, when your forehead is higher, then it makes you look younger, apparently, because babies have big foreheads. <gasps> I don't know. I'm here with uh, Miss Chang Won Young. <laughs> sorry, I, like, I shouldn't twerk in front of I'm the, trying, uh, I don't want to get demonetized. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why I clicked the, the little check mark, the uh, not for children. <laughs> what is the called Jiu Huan? It's called Jiu Huan. Oh. <laughs> Old uh, point of view? Oh, good. Eh? Translating. It's just this small little thing in Zongju, so. And he's a chef, so he, know, he like, he knows what's up. It's always a good time going to Machi with him because all my other friends, usually if you go, if you look for Machi, they like have no idea. They're like chickens running around with, like without their heads. Uh, we'll... Based on like, because I've seen all your friends, you only like them because they are handsome. You don't care about their taste or anything or their personalities. You only like them because they're handsome and they look good on Instagram. But... Right. I'm the one who has a personality. I really don't appreciate the fact that you're exposing me on my own vlog. <laughs> so we're still waiting. Um, we're kind of like low-key kind of standing in the window, kind of like giving glances to the, the girlies because we all know the Song Sudong girlies love to sit there and take their time because yes. they love the punigi. So we're kind of sitting there like... Eddie over here is like, he gets hangry really quickly, so he's about to take one of these pot planters or that pink bike over there and throw that shit at me. I'm really bothered. My carbon intake is very low, and I'm not really happy. Have you been to the um, famous Xi'an noodles in New York City? Uh, I haven't. I think you should have gone there. Oh, okay, really famous um, noodle dumpling place. I've been to Jai Sambling. That's in Korea and very mundane. Whatever. But you see Hi vlog! <laughs> We're at the E. Yes. Uh, Showcases. He's from the group up tension, I think. Yes. And he's making a solo debut, so um Maybe I don't know, I think it's a spit solo album. I think. From what I like Googled. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. I got the invite, so why the fuck? Yes, we're gonna fender. We're gonna be a biggest fangirl. Oh, <laughs> We're gonna fend her. Hey, hello, Jinyoung. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
super cute. So we just finished showcase and now we're here getting pizza at Clap Pizza. This is so Korean to have a pizza that's not cheese and or pepperoni. Oji? Truffle. Truffle. Oh yeah, this is burger. Uh, burger, hamburger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, hamburger, yeah. pizza. The essence of Korean food. Mm. It's been a while. Oh? She said I'm back to my English. Boy, my English is so bad. Yo, you know what I'm saying? You're a YouTuber. You're a YouTuber. You're a YouTuber. What the fuck? <laughs> he was busy filming a. Are you kidding me? Ah, he was filming a palm soap for a while, and so she was busy with that. Flower designer, Kim. Flower director, I'm doing. So, this is why I'm not wearing it. 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 Okay, we're at a K Will concert. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for it. <laughs> In other words, I'm sorry. Like every time I said I, I was going home, actually I was finding a place, um, you know, to actually find customers. If I don't, then I'll sleep on the street. Yes. That's what you get when you get you have no career. No career. I did not get customer of the money. The, the economy is like low. <laughs> the economy is low. There is never a shortage of horny men. Uh, You're just not giving what needs to be given, Eddie. And I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting older. The pussy's not giving. This right here, the curry vest, my fucking favorite. Thank you, Shani, no angels! One life! You are pathetic. Wow. We're at this place now called D Fiori Cafe. Uh, does the owner even know what it means? I don't think so. I read an article recently that some Ajider are confused about going to cafe town because everything is in English. Everyone in the comments is like, yeah, we all know that Korea, they set these places up with foreign languages for the aesthetic. And to be honest, half the shit on the menu, I don't even know what that is. Oh, do the workers know what that shit is? <laughs> Today I'm going to Kwangya apparently with Eddie, so um, I have to get ready and to be honest, I'm not that excited to go because usually these things are, they're, they're pretty to look at but maybe you take a cute picture or two but I don't know, I'm not really the type to go to these exhibitions or like little pop-up stores because maybe like the 2016 version of me where it was like, I need content. I'm gonna get ready and I will see you when I'm there. It's Changwon. I'm here. I'm just here with Changwon Young. We're going to <laughs> Kwangya <Hi>. together. <laughs> All right, Miss Changwon Young, can you please give us a tour of uh, Kwangya? Well, hey MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> oh, okay, Miss Sonushide. Oh my God! Yeah! We're unfortunate victims of being taken to Kwangya against the will. So we're having a little bit of an issue. We can't find the place. We're stupid. Two directionally challenged gay boys that. Cute boys. You are not me. After I wipe this makeup off, honey. So we're not fucking stupid after all. We were able to find it with the help of that SM security guy. Thumbnail. I'm very excited. So interesting developments in the studio. You have to get a fucking reservation. So thanks, Eddie, for not getting some reservation. Thinking we can just walk in here. This well, is Kwangya. You gotta reserve your. I mean, there's yeah. the outside if y'all want to see. You can basically just view the entire thing from here. What I showed you just now, that was Kwangya. And I think on YouTube now you can zoom in on the video. So just do this. <laughs> Isn't it literally just a like glorified merch shop? Yes, exactly what it is. Yeah, that's Kwangya for yes. you. 
SM is building this entire universe so that we can go there and spend our money. Yes. But mm. it's working apparently because we came here like two dumb bitches. Yes. <laughs> so because the Quang Mill was a bust, we're just gonna go because he reserved like this Chinese American restaurant at like 5:30. Yeah. Um. So we're just gonna see if we can go there early yeah. and be like, hi. I know we yeah. reserved at 5:30, but can we like eat earlier? Really yeah. Like 10 penises. There's a lot. <laughs> it's just like two babbling idiots when we're both hungry. Yes. But as the second we get one French fry in our bodies, we're whole new women. Reborn. Reborn. <laughs> Let me organize my thoughts. The first thing that came across your mind is to document it. Just gonna, I was gonna pull my camera out because we came to Cafe to wait for the restaurant. And I was gonna pull my camera out, I don't know, just in case. But at the same time I was about to pull my camera out, he said, I'm about to pass out. So it almost looked like I pulled my camera out in response to him saying I'm gonna pass out. So it looked like I just wanted to film him passing out. But it's okay, he'll make it. He's a strong Chinese woman. Me passing out is your content. Title, going to Kuangya, thumbnail, your passed out body on the floor. Okay. Going back to my 2015 YouTube roots. $300 apartment in Seoul? Me passing the out and you have your surprise face. We were talking just now about back in, were you, we were in like high school Yes. when it came out, like yeah. Rebecca Black Friday. It's Friday, Friday. What was the other one you said? The Chinese, I, I, like, Chinese Chinese. I like Chinese food. I love Chinese food. And what was the other one? Like jeans, that song about jeans. I just can't believe they wore those jeans like There's a lot of them. Oh really? Like just that whole series of little white girls like doing really silly songs with like music, full ass music videos. Talk about how at the time it was like, this is so fucking stupid. But like looking back at it now, it's like ironically iconic. I'm at the point in my life where if I see something dumb on the internet, of course, if it's just like silly content that people will easily make fun of, I'll be like, they're kind of iconic. Like the girl that burnt her hair off with a curling iron. And she was on the Ellen show, I'm like kind of iconic. Now you have to do something even more stupid to be famous. Oh, so now, that you can end up on the Ellen show? Yeah. <laughs> the stupid things have been done by other people already. So you have to As do if the it. entire Bunny and Cherry show is it. Mm, <laughs> yeah, you have to stuff like 15 marshmallows in your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, doing trends from 2015. Yeah. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm kind of glad we went through that because I never went through that as a YouTuber. I never fell into the challenges pit of content. It was never me. I was the bitch that went to Myeongdong and like, it was like 3CE Cafe. Yeah. You went to the like adult shop. Yes. Oh yeah, with Megan. That was a wild time. <laughs> I feel like I used that as like the, the, the thumbnail and the title, even though it was literally exactly just like, it was like 20 seconds of the video. <laughs> literally us at Kwangya. Yeah. We were there for five seconds. What is this again? I have no idea. <laughs> Shrimp with the corns. Shrimp with corn. That sounds really basic, but let's try. We'll try the corn first. Oh my god, it's really fucking good. Does it turn you into a communist? The corn? Yeah. Why would it turn me into a communist? Chinese food. This is Chinese food? Yeah. Did you say it's Chinese American? Well. <laughs> We're going home now. Bye. Hi. Anti federal. Anti federal. Why? Your, your eyes is full of like. I have taxis here now. Bye! Okay. We're having a Thanksgiving party with the dolls. Just kidding. Megan Bowen, she uh set up a little Thanksgiving kind of party thing for all the uh the way you there. For those of us that couldn't really spend Thanksgiving with the families in the States or wherever they're we're from. My contribution to the party is disposable uh plates and utensils. When I decided to be in that role, however, it was like two days before the party. I didn't want just like basic shit because they have the disposable plates and utensils that are like fancy that look like real silverware. And so I ordered some online. They said they would arrive on Thursday, but I just got a message on my phone saying it'll arrive at like during the party basically. So I was like, fuck, I'm just gonna have to go to Dice or something, so. I really don't need any more makeup, but whenever I buy new makeup, my excuse is like, oh, I'll talk about it in a video. And you guys know I don't post as that many reviews these days. So it's like, if I buy all this, I'm going to review it. If I don't review it, like, what's the point? But 
Do you like the can of beer and then the iced Americano and living the life? The amount of lip products I have in here, most of them I probably don't even use. I probably swatched them on my hand or something, so I just give them to my friends. There are some though that are like everyone kind of like, I love it, but I already have too much fucking shit for you. So if you're a female friend of mine, then I guess it's good for you. You never run out of makeup. <laughs> I'm literally here alone at the party room. Over here. 70s murder house, but over here, cute little uh, pop-up shop in Seoul that will probably close down in two months. Over here, she's giving casting couch. <laughs> Oh my god, just imagine if there was CCTV in here. American Thanksgiving food with Korean chocolate. How do I pepper? How do I do this? Pepper is the best. I love the massive time jump in my vlog. The <laughs> What are you doing? Just like hiding? No. I'm in Texas. It's actually a few days before Christmas. We're helpless little children because my parents, they moved to- that move, Moved? Is moved the right word? Technically, they moved to Germany for a few years. And also my brother went there. So it's just me, Victoria, and Abigail alone with the dogs. And we're like, yesterday we went to the grocery store. We're like, how does mom do this? <laughs> and also there might be a sudden change in weather because it might drop to like below freezing. Actually, it is below freezing right now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and like, they're like, oh, the pipes might yeah, freeze you know, over and burst. And like, they don't want to like, yeah, it's like Californians not knowing how to react when it, it like sprinkles like rain. We're like, what do you want for dinner? We've been eating out because whenever I arrive to America, I always want to eat like all the fast food that I, we don't have in Korea. Now we're like, okay, now we have to like make food. So this, just... is the, this is our choice, macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese and um, what do you, you mean? You're putting some ground beef in there? Yeah. Kind I of like think... hamburger helper style. I used the wooden spice. I don't even know what I'm doing. Because <laughs> in Korea, it's actually cheaper to just order food and eat out. Rather, yeah, here, girl. Than, rather than to buy groceries, but it's cheaper to buy groceries in America and cook it at home. Yeah. Why won't you love me, Nala? <laughs> yeah, I'll hold it like that. We need to tidy up here. Everything's like a disaster Mom's here. Gonna watch the like, I know! I'm moving! <laughs> Why are you still in Japanese when you say that? <laughs> Careful, don't kill me. Yes! Honestly, I think we're kind of killing it, Victoria. I think, I we, think are. we are. We're, we're kind of giving Barefoot Contessa. <laughs> Great. It really does just look like Velveeta, doesn't it? Yeah. That's what good pussy sounds like. It smells so good. Should I add more? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like Eddie, you know Eddie's son, my other friend? Yeah. He's gonna, he's How many chef. Eddie's do you have? There's so many Eddie's in my life. He's a chef, so he's gonna look at this and be like, what the fuck is that bullshit? No, it's okay, I'm a chef too. Wait, 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 wait. Girl, calm down. I, mean, I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, with some cherry cola. Cola, Coke. Cherry Coke. Cherry Coke. Setting up the tree, what, like two, two days before Christmas? No, literally the day before Christmas Eve. <laughs> okay. She's <laughs> Okay. Alright, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I look like though. Oh, the heck. <gasps> Got some bangs going on. Alright, she's giving. She's giving weekend in. In. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because we were three sad little children that couldn't cook for ourselves, our tita was sweet enough to invite us to her house and we had dinner together. So Tori's over there <laughs> cooking sugar cookies. The dogs are always leaving me. <laughs> How should we do it? It doesn't matter. You either grease or you can use oil. For some reason, every time Tori is cooking, she always looks like a contestant on the kids. Uh, <laughs> We have one. <laughs> 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 come, come back. 
half of me like understands the excitement of decorating a cookie, but the other half is like, you spend an hour decorating and you spend five seconds eating it. I don't think I'm gonna eat mine. <laughs> I'm gonna like, <laughs> what? And in the end, she just mixed everything. So now it looks like Barney shit. It's New Year's Day, me and Victoria. He whatever. <laughs> Abigail's in fucking Arizona and then Victoria over here has something planned later so it's literally just gonna be me and the dogs. They're gonna be super scared. They're gonna be full anxiety because of all fireworks. Yeah. This is the one Victoria. I'm so excited. Look at this. <laughs> That is fine American dining. This in Korea would be so expensive. I know. Because it's a very conceptual kind of food. Same with the Philippines. Uh, Do you have this in Korea? I think in there's a place called uh, the Pancake House. It's very similar to like Denny's or IHOP. Yeah. But I went there, it was like, oh my god. For me, it's either it tastes like whatever or it tastes like really good. Yeah. I never really think, oh, this tastes like crab. That place tastes like crab. What, what did you eat? Uh, just like a regular <laughs> breakfast combo. But it was, there was something about the pancake that tasted like nasty. And they got the order wrong. <laughs> That's the gag of it all. We're back again. It's New Year's. Oh, wait, I just said that earlier. <laughs> Yes, we never had this. Oh, it's a that go off. Wait. It's like Auntie Rodas. Yeah, yeah. actually. It's I Rodas. miss it. If you get the thinner one, <laughs> <laughs> that's the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, well, it's 2023. Well, it's going to be 2023, but I'm literally at home by myself. I came here to Texas to visit my siblings because I knew my parents were going to be here. So I was like, oh, I'll spend Christmas and New Year's with my siblings. But Abigail went to Arizona. Victoria, she went to some church thing. So I'm just here at home playing Dead by Daylight with a can of beer. And the dog, Loa, come Nala. Girl, I'm, oh, I was trying to call her, but she's always like, oh, let me just mess around on the floor. Oh. It was a very eventful 2022, I guess. I hope you guys had a good one. And here's to, well, shut up. Here's to uh, happy, healthy 2023. Ugh. I'm so sick of this bitch.